Hi guys, I'm back with another DP video today. Thought I'd start off just by showing you this cute little uh, dragon, these little dragon pixel arts I've been working on. Um, this one's Fungal Bloom, and this one I've just started working on is actually a skitter. Um, also, I have been, I animated one of Esmeralda earlier, and I think that's kind of cute. I'm not really that all that good at animating, but I just made something kind of a homage to the Shining Force sprites because I really like that game, and I just thought I'd keep it simple, keep it cute, and I really like how it turned out, so I'll probably make more of them, but it's not really something I'm going to work too hard on. Um, it's just a little fun thing. So, yeah. There we go. I also did Shrouded Carnage, but obviously not too different from the model. I'm going to make some new models. Skid is already there. So if I just go here, I'm going to take a look. I've got loads of art on here. And I've got a lot of other crap. Let's take a look. Shrouded. Shrouded Carnage. There we go. I did try to kind of as well. Not too different, just a recolor using the palette. But I will be making more dragons, so if you have a suggestion, let me know. I will probably be doing cobalt and whatever. Um, I want to try and get through my dragons and make my a little animating team. But yeah, there's a cute little thing I've done on the side. It's been a while since I've done proper DP fan art. I also did uh, Fadrana. Um, and if I'm just going to pause, I will show you that. Okay, so I found Fadrana. Fadrana is just here. Yep, and that's Fadrana. That's the other thing I've been doing. So yeah, I've done a little bit of DP fan art. This one I haven't uploaded to DP Night yet, but I'll put it on my Tumblr and Facebook and whatever. Um, so yeah, I am still quite into DP. I'm going to talk about some cool things today. I'm actually going to go into the game right now. But to do that, I need to switch video modes. So... I will be back in a sec. Okay, now I switch video modes. Uh, we're gonna get the loading screen here. So, some interesting things have been happening. We had SOE Live last week, last weekend. Kudos to anyone who was actually able to go. I know Dream Seeker was actually able to go, and she already has her Lady Vox, which is really awesome. Now, so I'm just going to leave Lady Vox there for a minute. Um, now, I I don't know if anyone noticed, but I actually had a problem with my PC a few days ago that gave me some problems, and it actually prevented me uploading videos in some cases. Um, it wasn't not so noticeable on video, but I was suffering some kind of stuttering due to a disconnecting drive and um, sometimes, not all the time, it would make the video come out looking super laggy and while on my end it looked fine, things like the Phantom Stone video just looked super laggy. Um, I actually had a Shattered Rage video that uh, I was supposed to upload and I didn't. Um, the only difference with Phantom Stone is that Phantom Stone was one thing I probably wouldn't have found again, so I just uploaded that one anyway. But Shattered Rage I've seen a couple of times, and I've had a video on it before, so I left him alone this time. I did upload that one anyway, but I did have another one called With Shattered Rage. But the only reason why I left the Phantom Stone one up was because it's... Um, yeah, I was actually hunting that dragon for Genemi, or Genemy, however you pronounce her name. She actually recorded the video as well, so if you want to see a Shattered Carnage, uh, not Shattered Rage, being capped, she has it on her channel, and I will link it um, in the description. I'm gonna do my daily here because shells are nice. So yeah, I fixed the stuttering issue just yesterday, actually. Um, it was to do with the drive disconnecting and reconnecting and it did affect some videos not all of them just some for some reason I'm not sure why but the frame rate should be good now on this video I'm actually getting 60 FPS in uh, 
winter tide here, maybe because there's not much around. I think I'm good here. I'm just going to go around do my dailies. So, that's what we live happened at the weekend. So it's really cool, anyone who managed to go. Um, I put in for Lady Vox, but um, I'll probably not get her till I managed to go. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I saw some cool things about Planet Side. I actually played that game for the first time yesterday, and I was my sister invited me to play on her account, and she taught me how to play the game just a little bit. I would like to play her as part of like a co-op maybe, and she did did like the idea of that, so maybe we'll do that one day. I'm not very good at shooter games, so I don't know how that's gonna go, but um, it'll be quite fun. I think the first thing I'm going to check while I'm here is, while it's still daytime, is I'm going to go to Winandia. So I don't Thank think anything... Does something spawn today? Personally, I do prefer Warframe, and even then, Warframe to me is sort of a casual game. Um, so I did see the uh, Warframe uh, dev stream at Gamescom as well, and the, like, the Arcwing update, which looks like an on-rails space space combat with your tenno so that's pretty neat I'm just checking to see if uh, a barbarous treasures up it's usually not up for a little while but I thought I'd check anyway just in case and sometimes it's up now sometimes I it usually shows up if I sit here for about three hours or less because it's got a fixed three hour spawn timer on it but I've actually done my treasure hunt quest for this week, but it's always good to be a bit be ahead of yourself, I feel. See, so yeah, I've got a, like a sort of strict routine in this game. I try to keep to now. And uh make sure I send gifts to people. I I don't always do it, but sometimes I do. Um depends if I wanna get a friendship bag at the end of the day, but mind you, you can get those anyway if you're online long enough. So no, I don't see that here. Yeah, I'm probably going to cut this video short today because I don't want to ramble on for too long. There's not, not too much happening. And uh, one thing they actually talked about was the hatching system coming soon, so that's something to look forward to. Um, also, we've got the... What else have we got? We've also got a new zone coming, which I'm going to present something kind of interesting here. I'm going to go onto All World. I'm going to show you. So we've got the map. We've got the map here. Um, I'm going to show you which areas these are. So here we've got. Here, this is the high level island. Here, this is where Paratia is. That is where Paratia is. And then here we've got. Olandra. So we've got this one here, Winter Tide. So with that in mind, this is how this works. Here is Winandia. That's Satuma. This is Kohala, Winter Tide, Inatia, Elantia, Alandra. This is Paratia. That's Barkra. This is Porthis. All that leaves now is this area here. And we have this space left. So this is probably going to be the last zone we get. And after that, we're going to get back Satuma. Satuma and Barkra. So that's what I reckon. I reckon after we get this next zone here, we're going to get back Satuma and Bakra. And that makes me very excited. So that's my theory on that. I'm quite happy about that. Um, to implore more on the um, hatching system, I'm uh, imagining it's something that happens at the housing zone. So once I've set up my dragons, I'm actually going to head right there. Such a stunning creature. 
So this is my second level 100 dragon now. I have jaded one up to level 100. She's not actually finished yet. She's still missing a lot of skills, not a lot of 10 out of 10 yet. Got obliterating impact. Cooling impact seems like a weak skill, but it chains in with bitter cold, which gives elemental damage, which I'm still experimenting with, but so far it does give a good damage boost, so I try and use it when I can. Launch off cooling impact and then launch off obliterating impact and it does a lot more damage. I'm probably going to replace novice skill training mastery with ferocity because crits seem to mean a lot in combat. And um, I've got focus will. I'm not 100% with that skill yet. I might replace that for something else yet. But it does give a boost in defense. But I mean focus is his lowest stat. So I may end up switching that out for dragon affinity. I'm not sure yet. Got... Uh, elemental pulse, tough skin. Tough skin is a must. If I don't see a dragon with tough skin in the arena, then likely I can beat it. Uh, so I'm going to set this dragon up very quickly. And I'm going to get paralyzing current up because that skill is awesome. It's a magic damage skill. I see it on a lot of ancients and um, it is a magic damage skill. Make sure that unless it's like a rune weight dragon, um, you're not going to get much damage out of that skill. Same with obliterating impact. If you don't have... If you have that on a... Damage deal physical damage dealing ancient. That's not going to do a lot of damage. Now the kicker is... Is that obliterating impact actually reads as... Physical damage. But that's reading off of my... Magical damage stat. Because that's doing 51k. Now, on Esmeralda, she's a physical damage dealer. Obliterating impact, 10 out of 10, just does 9k damage. So, that is feeding off of intelligence. Cyclone Assault is fine. Cyclone Assault is perfectly fine, but obliterating impact is one of those weird anom 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 <sighs> One of those weird things you got to look out for. So, I don't know if I should be lazy here. I think I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to go to the housing zone with a Serian Regress. So apparently the hatching system is going to take place in the housing zone. Um, apparently you have a selection of dragons you can choose uh, to breed and then you get a variety of results. More common dragons being the more likely results are being hatched from that egg and you can even get ancient dragons. This could be a method to getting um, things like solar eclipse and balge and all those cool things from eggs, but I've, as far as I've seen, it could take up to 28 days for them to hatch, so it could take you a very long time if you only hatch 12 dragons a year and they're all commons. So, this is my house here. I actually have two houses here kind of like it. Once my old house, I put like spider webs and stuff in it. And this is my main house I got for my founder's pack, but I've got some other cool things in here like Vita, the stalwart shield, and also if I go upstairs, I have two beds. This is my weapon rack here, and on my weapon rack I actually have all my old weapons that I've used throughout the game. And these are the only weapon skins I've used throughout the game. So I've got my Cronus Corruption from my Founder's Pack. I've got my Shining Seraph Scythe. And I've got my Crystalline Chaos Scythe as well. And these are actually the... Besides the Scythe I'm using right now, these are the only skins I've ever used. So I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. I did it for a reason, so... There we go. There's that. So that's what the upstairs looks like. At the front, I decided to put Royal Thorn because he fits with my armor. He fits with my armor color. Nothing more, not really to show off, just to show off the color. And here, I actually have the rest of my Dark Steel armor on this mannequin here. So that's what the full Dark Steel set would look like if I put it on him. And he's wearing my Beta cape as well. So yeah, that's the Dark Steel set. And my barge is right there because he is symbolic. And just at the bottom here, I don't think many people are going to notice this, but I put this item here. 
And this item is actually called, I have one in my inventory, it is called a Dragon Spine. And Dragon Spine was the name of the first guild I was in. And it still exists and it's still an awesome guild, so that's what the Dragon Spine is there for. There's also one on the top. So, yeah, that's my house. I thought I'd just show that. But yeah, this hatching system sounds interesting. Um, it's apparently going to take place in this housing zone. And I'm quite looking forward to it. So, I might actually finish this here. I don't think there's anything new on the market today of any note. We still have the Jedi Elaine Egg. And the Dark Knight Karina. Got Miller Thomas. He should have a different name. Doesn't suit. Um, and we've got the Venom Sa Samuel capsule, which is, to be honest, I, I, they're not, I don't really like them because, well, I do like them, but the problem with this game at the moment is there's not nearly enough chamber space to ho hold all these dragons, and so there's no need for me to collect them if there's no point to that, so until there's more chamber space then I'm not really too worried about dragons yet. I'm, I know I'm missing out on the titles and that really sucks because I would just get them for the titles on their own but unfortunately because of the way the chamber space is I can't really do that. In fact if I go to the guild sanctuary right now I can show you what I mean. So right here can you come here? I need help. I'm gonna go into my chamber. This is my chamber, right? Most of these are in order, but I kind of screwed up the order where I was moving dragons out. But I put them in order of like dungeon ancients and then wild ancients and then miscellaneous dragons. And I actually don't have a lot of space left. Some of these have skills on them that I need to pass on, and some don't. Um, but then you have the problem where like the fourth page is completely broken it just doesn't work it just doesn't work at all so I actually don't have the space to capture anymore at the moment and this really kind of sucks because there's a lot of dragons I want to get and I can't get them right now so until that's sorted out I can only really pick and choose what I want to get and what I don't want to get because it's just so many different ones now one of the ones I really wanted to get a hold of was uh, Steel Demon, but uh, can't do that right now. Same with the PvP Ancients, can't get those either. But um, I'm going to still try my best to work for them, but just acquire them at a different time. Uh, one more thing before I finish. I actually changed my build. There's a really cool guide that um, Rafe put up on the forums about um, Oracle damage and stating how natural damage like benefits scythe wielding oracles right now. So I actually changed my build from dragon spell damage to natural damage and there is actually kind of a big difference in damage. Um, only things you do sacrifice by changing from Faith of Sion to Faith of Istalon is that you have the lack of uh, dragon soul regen but you do have this really nice skill um, it's called dragon soul vengeance it costs twice as much but when you cast it and somebody hits you while you're healing your dragon soul you'll heal all your hit points like you'll start healing and your dragon soul will start healing and if someone attacks you during that 10 15 seconds that it's active You'll just heal everything. I love it. It's amazing for the amount of HP I have. Um, I also have this skill called Great Amethyst Claw. I haven't had a chance to experiment with this skill much. But it also regens Dragon Soul, and that's one thing I really need. Um, but I'm really glad they actually have skills that don't rely. You can just regen your Dragon Soul in combat now. It makes things a lot easier. I also have this nice skill called Crystal Shadow. Uh, increases your movement speed by 70.5% and causes damage received by targets 100 units away minus 70.5% for 15 seconds. So if I cast it, it just lets me run away from things really fast. 
Also, it help, does help when you combine that with flash step because you can you take no damage while you're casting flash step, so it's awesome. Uh, I, I was trying out New Moon just because I have to unlock the skill to enable Lunar Cry in the first place, and it's not too bad. It's a fairly fast skill. It's got a long cooldown, but it's not too bad. It's another skill to use. Um, otherwise. I actually took out uh, Ethereal Power because they removed the stun from it, so it's not nearly as useful as before. Um, I think that's it. I do have my setup right now for PvP, so these are my current soul skills. I have Blessing of Oziac, which increases magic damage. I also have Spine Shield, which when I'm attacked throw his attack back at them. He's gonna kill himself here. One more. And he just killed himself. And I also have Adrenaline Surge. Most builds should have it. Increases damage and magic damage by 10%. It makes you big too. Don't know if I approve of that, but at least you can tell when it's active on somebody if you're not paying too much attention. Um, so yeah, that's it for today, I think. I think I've covered everything. Uh, I'll just show my mastery build currently at the moment, just so you get an idea of what I've got and what I'm going with. A reset about... this is probably my sixth reset now. Um, yeah, I'm at this claw 505. Yeah, and that's my, my setup for a minute. So I've changed over from Faith of Sun for now. I think I'll stay, stay as I am, hopefully. I'm pretty comfortable with this at the moment. I did a few rounds in PvP with Sultan. And, um, yeah, I'll finish here today. So I will see you. And I hope you have fun in DP or whatever game you're playing today.